all have this unnecessary feeling of pride towards Milwaukee, so I don't let other people talk smack about Milwaukee. It's kind of like if somebody says something bad about your mom, you don't let them talk about your mom that way. I wouldn't let people talk bad about Milwaukee, but everybody that's from here does talk bad about Milwaukee. <laughs> Milwaukee flag prior to its current flag was a dozen different things and objects all over. People always thought it was messy, but the thing is like, that's what Milwaukee is. It's a complete mess that's always trying to, it's a kind of a healthy mess in a way. You know, who are we as a population? Uh, people want to call us like a German town, but we're not just a German town. There's a huge like history of uh, many different populations coming through Milwaukee. Well before white people inhabited the city, the fact that it is a big city, but it still has a lot of good, like natural nature areas. There's a lot of green here, beautiful beaches, beautiful walking trails and parks. I think that there's a lot of beautiful people in Milwaukee too. I think uh, Milwaukee's a place you gotta get out and see and you gotta visit. I think you gotta walk around Milwaukee. And the more I walk around, the more I realize that it's, you literally cross a street or a bridge and you're, you can tell the difference. It's, it's really sad to see and notice actually. And I think sometimes we look at something and there's certain parts of Milwaukee that may appear blighted to some people. But once they get there and they start feeling that community, they might realize it's a completely different thing. I can reinforce what is often said about Milwaukee being a tough place uh, for people of color and people from low socioeconomic backgrounds to live in that there's limited opportunities, um, there's limited spaces where people feel welcome and people are often anticipated to be problems as opposed to being part of the community. Of the presumptions that people can make of you sometimes you, it forces you to try to identify people that you can build a small community around, a small committed community of people who have your back, people who are invested in your well-being, and people who are simply invested in you being successful. It doesn't matter what degree of success it is. I'm committed to Milwaukee because I think that the sense of community here is really strong. That's how I see Milwaukee. I see a lot of love in Milwaukee and I don't see, I don't have a lot, of, I, I don't see a lot of hate for those who live in Milwaukee. And there's also a lot of art events in the community like art shows and stuff like that which is a really good opportunity for networking and again getting inspired and also like there's just lots of public art like murals and stuff around Milwaukee. It's just a really good inspirational area. What it makes it unique is that it's the kind of place that always has all of your emotions running high. Uh, in, in terms of, it could be a place at times where you feel very proud to come from there because it's a, it's a working class town that you know people often dismiss but yet you're able to cultivate a sense of knowledge. You're able to cultivate a sense of culture, a sense of know-how that um, people who come from uh, more prominent cities may not be able to attain. One thing I loved about Milwaukee before I even moved here was the independent spirit and the art scene in Milwaukee especially. There were a lot of, I immediately noticed a lot of artists that didn't matter if they didn't have a venue or if they didn't have a gallery or a, a theater. They, they made space to do what they wanted to do and they got an audience. There's a lot of individuals here that make this city great and they're eccentric and they're talented. What Milwaukee really means to me and what, it do, what it's done for me was um, it's taught me how to be a reflective person. It's taught me how to recognize the gifts I have within myself and within the people that I care about, even when others don't recognize those gifts. 